What is up Vault Dwellers? Welcome back to the Wasteland and to the next installment of my Fallout building series in which we are crafting a mock like no other showing a forgotten vault set somewhere in the Mojave Desert. I told you previously that we are getting closer and closer to the finish line with this epic build but after seeing how popular the last episode was and what enormous rebirth the entire franchise is having right now I think I'm going to change my plans and take this mock even further because you know what they say. Us cowpokes, we take it as it comes. So whether you just fell in love with this franchise after watching the show and just starting exploring the games or you're a wasteland veteran like yours truly, I'm sure you'll find what I'm planning to be an absolute sugar bomb. So open up that bottle of Nuka Cola, zip up your vault suit and get ready for yet another dose of radiation, because we're starting right now. Hello again. Yeah, but before we move on with some more building, there are a few things I need to talk about. First of all, after the last episode, I got a whole bunch of new viewers and subscribers making it one of the best performing videos in the history of my channel, so I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for joining me on this journey and I hope you have fun with the rest of this series. And the second thing, let's talk a bit about the show itself because personally, I was literally blown away by the entire series. The feel, the setting, the props, the constantly popping out easter eggs all felt like not only a show based on the game, but was a true extension to this already huge and amazing universe. It skillfully combined the horror and the harsh realities of the post-apocalyptic world with lots of wacky humor that the old school players already know and love. The cast of main protagonists was simply great. Lucy being a naive vault dweller cut out of reality of the outside world but determined to save her father and constantly willing to move forward despite all the unpleasantries she comes across. Maximus, a confused member of one of the biggest known factions, not sure how to function in and outside of its ranks, but still trying to be a good person even when not knowing how. And of course the infamous ghoul, the crown jewel of the show that actually needs no commentary I think, because who doesn't love Walton Goggins right now, am I right? But also the rest of the cast and background characters like the scrappy wastelanders, NCR remnants, raiders and even the monsters our hero comes across all just fit so good into the lore of the games that you sometimes forget it's not one of them. The show does a great job not only at building upon established Fallout lore rather than reinventing it, but also expanding on some of the features that were not present before and are a great expansion of the already known elements from all of the games. The plot greatly guides us through the wasteland keeping the viewers engaged in the story, finally culminating into a world unraveling finale that is both intensive and leaving us wanting more. So overall, I can easily give this show a solid 9 out of 10 and I just can't wait for the already announced second season that will for sure explain a couple more of these minor plot holes they left us with and will push the main hero's story even further showing that beloved New Vegas skyline we saw in the end credits and hopefully a lot more. Of course this is only my opinion and some of you might disagree so I want to know what are your thoughts about this series. But now, let's get back to what you came here for to see, and that is of course the progress on my epic mock. So after the previous episode, what I did was continue with the interior of the vault, firstly finishing the backside of the vault doors. I wanted to make them somewhat similar to the source material, but still technically not too complex, and I think I managed that quite well. We have some visible locking mechanism elements sticking out and a big lock in the middle that will later connect with the mechanical arm opening the vault, all made in an already established visual style and it all just fits so good together. As you might have noticed, I've also added a couple of lights around the door, which, you guessed it, have some LEDs connected to them and yes, they work. 
Having only these four lights for now already gives a nice vibe to the interior, so I'm glad I decided to add them here, and I may even add some more further down the road, but we'll see how it goes from here. I mean, what can you say? Now the next step was making a part of a floor that will hold the catwalk leading to the door. I just made this bit irregular yet a very simple piece of tile covered floor that will serve as a small extension of the part I already made previously and with it connected to the rest with just a couple of tiles I could move on to making the catwalk itself. And here I wanted to make it as thin as possible since this part is always just a metal mesh with a bunch of railings on the side, so I made great use of these 8x8 modified plates, but I assembled them with studs facing down just to get rid of the additional thickness of the cutwalk and any unnecessary studs and cover the bottom with yellow tiles to keep the established vault color scheme. All is placed on some pillars made out of candles which are just so visually great that I just had to use them here and now all can be mounted in place. But having this part isn't enough to get out of the vault, right? So I had to make an additional piece that will slide out after the door is open and for this I again had to make something that is as thin as possible and I came up with something like this, using regular 1x4 fences connected by some transparent inverted tiles and the railings I attached using a couple of bar clips, setting the same yellow fence pieces as before, now at an angle, to make it look more appealing. And this way we have ourselves a neat looking piece of a catwalk, which can easily slide out when the door is open, allowing the Volties to step out to the wasteland. So now with all that done, I think we need to take care of one more key element that is of course the mechanical arm to open the door. And here I had to combine a couple of ideas of how the doors work because in each game the mechanism looks and functions a bit different, so I decided to do a bit of a mix between Fallout 3 and Vault 76 because I'm not including a ceiling in my vault so it would totally mess up my concept if I did it just like there is in Fallout 4. So I decided that the engine will look like the one from Fallout 4, but moves like the one in Vault 76, just moving up and down to open the lock in the door, and the rest of the process will be made using the chains I placed down in the previous episode. I used a bunch of circular bricks and dishes for the main body, connected them with some flexible cables to a triangle Technic connector and hang all using some Technic lift arms. Attaching the engine was actually very simple. I just connected it to the ceiling using just one Technic piece and as I want the lock to be in two changeable positions, I added a clip above so I can click it in place when the mechanism isn't being used. So now let's just quickly check if everything is working as it should, and yeah, just perfect. The colors of course will be changed here to fit the vault scheme, but for now I had to work with what I had, and I gotta say that I'm glad of how similar to the source it looks. Now I don't want to use it now to open the door, because it would be very hard to put it back in since there is a lot of tension around the door, but you'll see that sometime later in the series. You'll see. And speaking of which, before we move on from the interior and get back to making the mountain, which having the inside wall done now can be completed, I wanted to talk about the future of this series. When making what you just saw, I thought a lot about the vault interior. I already did more than I wanted here, but I thought that since I will probably never come back to making a vault again, why not make it right and expand it even more. So my proposal is this, if you guys help me out and make my channel grow to 10,000 subscribers before the planned finale showing the vault as it is plus the mountain and the raider camp, then I will continue this series for a couple more episodes and make some more vault interior with some rooms, corridors and even more vaulties of course. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Let me know in the comment section below. 
that's all I ask. But now, let's get back to building because there are still a few elements I want to add today. And first, let's cover these ugly holes on the sides. Since I don't have enough bricks to fill these gaps, I decided to make the covers using tiles and then I will attach them using some snot bricks. As these panels made themselves, in the meantime I also made a snot contraption inside not only to allow me to attach the side covers, but also reinforcing the entire structure from the inside and now we are all clear to combine them all finishing the sides. Ok, so now having both sides completed, it's time to take care of the top layer. And here I also wanted to reinforce the whole structure because as you know all of the walls are made separately and it does influence the structure stability a bit, so I added some more supports and I will connect it all using plates and even some Technic bridge that should be useful later on for attaching the rocks. What a disgusting idea! Great. Everything is now in place and even if you can't see it, it really helped in making the whole thing more stable for future transport, so I'm now ready for finishing the rock work. Good luck. Or actually I'm not, because I think I will need a lot more dark tan pieces for that and that I will have to order of course, so I think this will be a moment we stop with this progress and we'll come back here in the next episode. So yeah, again changing the plans and extending this building series, but I'm still enjoying it after 8 episodes, so I don't mind sitting on it a bit more. And having that said, now as usual I want to hear your feedback on the mock and its current progress. How do you like the almost final look of the interior? Do you think I should extend it even more and build deeper into the vault? Let me know down in the comments and of course like and subscribe while you're at it and I will catch you guys in the next video here on Kubrick.